Alhamdulillah sallallahu wasallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ala ba' So I want to talk about something this word you may not really be familiar with but about being suspicious spying on people do not spy do not spy on people the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam let us know that spying is a major sin when you spy on people you try to find out what mistakes they're doing or you you follow them you want to know something you don't need to know or that you think bad things about them without any proof then this is haram and it's very bad and we're just going to read just a simple part of the hadith and the hadith of Abu Huraira radiyallahu ta'ala anhu an Abi Huraira an Abi Huraira radiyallahu ta'ala anhu ala rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam qala iyyakum wa dhan fa inna dhan akthib al hadith wa la tajassu wa la tahasadu wa la tabaghdu wa la tadabur wa la ta kama qala ila akhir hadith the Prophet Sallallahu said in this hadith, and we just want to deal with the first part. In the first part, the Prophet Sallallahu said, Iyakum al-dhan. He said, Beware of suspicion. Iyakum al-dhan, fa in al-dhan akthib al-hadith. Again, this goes back to lying as we we're talking about. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Beware of suspicion. Suspicion is like, is like lying, uh, is like spying. That means to think about someone in a bad way, to be, huh, what are they doing? I wonder what they're doing. I think they're doing this. To, to not know what they're doing and to think that they're doing something bad. That is suspicion. You don't know what they're doing. So if we say, for example, someone closes the door in the other room. We say, huh, I know they're watching bad things on, t on the in internet. I think they're listening to music. I think they're doing this. They're watching Selena Gomez. They're watching uh, Justin Bieber. Huh, that's haram. Justin Bieber's haram. Selena Gomez haram. All that's bad stuff. But if we don't know if it's true that they're doing it, then we can't be suspicious of them. Or, especially if you know, if you know that the person is a good person, then they don't do that. So you don't say, oh, you saw the Imam of the Masjid, he closes the door and you think, hmm, the Imam of the Masjid is probably smoking a cigarette. No. That's bad suspicion. That's suspicion, and that's a that's a based on why. Because the Prophet of Islam said, "Beware of suspicion." He said, "Beware of suspicion," because uh, suspicion, because suspicion is the worst. of speech it's it's the worst it's it has the most lies in it it contains lying why because when you have suspicion about someone then that means you spread it you might fall into riba and namima you might start spreading it oh so and so does this oh i think so and so oh, yeah, yeah i heard so and so they do this haram this person does this haram oh i think she's like this she does this haram and you spread it with the people. That's haram. All of that's haram. <coughs> the Prophet said in an in a authentic hadith when he was walking by some uh, graves. He said, <laughs> So the Prophet was walking by some graves and he there was a couple of graves and he said they're being punished in the in the whom you in the humat Those people in those graves they're being punished. And they're not being punished for something that the people think is big. People think it's small. As for one of them, is they used to not clean themselves properly for a stinja. What did the first person not do, Rashad? Stinja. No. Yeah, he didn't clean himself properly, okay? And the second person, they used to spread lies about the people or spread tales about the people so that people would, so evil would spread. That was their purpose. Some people, look at all the newspapers. A lot of newspapers, their purpose is to spread lies so they can make money. That's what they do. 
Not all the newspapers, but most of them. Some of them specialize in lying. They lie about famous people, or sometimes they have truth. Anything they can get about a person, they look, they do research, and there's their suspicion. They're doing exactly the opposite of what the Prophet said. And then they spread it and make money off it. They're going to have a painful torment in the hellfire. Because their job is to spread fitna, is to spread harm to the people. And to hurt the people, that's their purpose. Suspicion leads to harming people, and it harms your own soul. Suspicion is a type of lying. Because when you spy on people, or you think they're doing bad, and then you speak about it, Mommy, I think that person is doing this. So-and-so, I think this person is doing this. You're getting a sin, because you don't know if they did it. And you're spreading lies, and spreading evil things about them. But that doesn't mean, <coughs> if you know somebody does something bad all the time, you know that they, this person, we know they always do bad. We know they're a bad person. So you mainly think, you know that they're bad, they always smoke cigarettes. You already know it. Then, if you have some suspicion that they're probably going in the other room to smoke cigarettes because you can smell it, that's different. That's not suspicion necessarily. Because you can smell it, there's proof. Okay? And they're doing their sin out in the open so everyone can see. But what we're talking about is you don't want to spread other people's faults. When somebody does mistakes and they do sin, you don't want to just spread it to everyone. But, when someone is doing a sin around you as children, you need to tell your parents. You have to tell your parents. That's different. That's not like suspicion. Or if you think, oh, you know, you think somebody in your family or someone's doing, they're doing something bad. They're smoking drugs or something. You see their eyes. That's okay. You can tell your adults. You can tell the parents and tell the, their, your grandparents. So that way they can stop that munkar, stop that sin that we're talking about. That's not suspicion. Suspicion is like spying and lying on the people and spreading those tales and thinking they're doing something haram when they're normally a good person. Normally they're a good person and you think they're haram. So what is suspicion, Rashad? Because you drift off, man. you got to come back to us. Huh? No, that's not what suspicion is. So pay attention. Jazakallah khayna. Suspicion is spying on people or thinking that someone else is doing something bad. What is suspicion? Spying on people. Uh huh. And thinking? And thinking thinking about someone is doing something bad. Thinking someone good is bad or doing something bad. Okay? That's simple enough for us. Thinking someone is bad when you don't know and then spreading that information. You don't want to do that. We have to be very cautious. Some people, they do that. That they make it their job to do that. Even some Muslims do that. That they make it their job to spread harm in the Muslim community. That they say, oh, this person, this person who's a da'i or is an imam or is a, 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 a talib al-ilm or a sheikh or this, they're bad. And I'm going to spread that to everyone. Even they lie. They'll even make stuff up and spread it just to ruin a person's reputation. Those people are going to pay a painful torment. Why? Because they spread harm amongst the Muslims. You never want to be a cause of spreading harm to the Muslims. You don't want to spread any harm, as the Prophet said, Do not spread harm. Don't be a part of anything harmful and sinful. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil, and help us to stay away from sin. May Allah protect us from drugs and alcohol and music and looking at haram and all those bad things. And may Allah protect us from spying on people and being suspicious. And may Allah protect us from lying. A'udhu Billah bin Dalika. And may Allah bless us to be of Ahl Sunnah and be with Ahl Sunnah and be raised up with the Prophet and all the Prophets. Alayhim Abdul Salatu Wasalam wa Sallallahu Wasalam ala Nabiya Muhammad.